Hello everybody, Danielle here. I'm just introducing myself because as you may know, I don't get in front of the camera very often. Uh, the words camera shy barely describe uh, how I'm feeling right now. You may not believe me, but it's true. However, our team hasn't put out a video in a little while, so we thought it'd be important to make some direct connection, introduce what's going on, and just say, hey, we're here, and we're so thankful uh, for all your support. So I just wanted to quickly say that our team has done such an incredible job this year, and I want to express that everything you're seeing in, in the video to come, all those people lifting up those huge pieces of timber, using those saws, steam bending in planks, hoisting frames, all of that is actually backed by some of the strongest communication and trust that I've seen in any team ever. So for us to be able to weather the storm of the coronavirus, we had to put a lot of special focus on communicating with each other and making sure we do trust each other. Uh, and our team was able to do that. So thank you. Thank you to the team. And I hope you enjoy what you're about to watch. Bye. These last full frames, they went up in May, I believe. So it's been a while since we've seen any visual progress in that regard. But the half frames were continued to be put together for the next few months after that. Um, and labeled and put away for storage until we got the whole stern assembly put together where they are being installed currently. Uh, the st and the stern assembly is the stern post, rudder post. Um, there's a big knee in there. And then beyond that is the deadwood, which is a large triangle. I think there's, a, there's 11 of them. You know, it's notched and bolted to give it a lot of strength from well, every aspect. It's, you know, lots of shear blocks and things all installed inside. And it's a monstrous piece of wood. It's a big, heavy piece. It's very strong. Yeah. While the stern assembly was being built and the remainder of the half frames were being assembled, there's a lot of material that was brought in because the aft portion of the boat was still wide open. So it's um, a lot easier, obviously, to bring things in through an open door than up over the top of everything. Along with the Kielsen and Kielsen rider and a lot of the bilge rider stock, there's also the Samson post was brought in, which is an enormous piece of really beautiful piece of timber. Um, and there's a few, um, there's a few other odds and ends. There's a pile of deck beams in here already. There's about a dozen or so tween deck beams that got loaded in at that time. Um, the steam box itself was brought in. Um, yeah, which made life easy. It's all in here and ready to go. Unlike the full-size frames, which are one continuous um, frame that's stood up in unison. These are bolted onto the sides, so they require a mortise and tenon to 
lock them into place before they're through bolted. Yeah, and the half frames are mounted to the side of that big deadwood triangle, which is the other purpose of it, is it gives some more for the rest of the structure to be attached to. Yeah, so the half frames are, um, yeah, two individual uh, pieces that are mirrors of each other for port starboard. The, uh, the tenon cut onto the, the frame end and then the, the mortise inside the deadwood. They're raised with a series of block and tackle and winches and a lot of human power. Um, they've been going really smoothly, actually. It's um, pretty nice. This great big crane we have built. Está construida de árboles de teca. Esos árboles se unieron. Se usaron barras que llevan roscas con tuercas. Entonces se unieron las dos. Luego se pone otro brazo sobre una grúa principal acá. Todo lo que lleva son cuerdas y poleas. Entonces para cualquier movimiento que usted quiera hacer eh, arriba, abajo, derecha, izquierda, se hace con cambios de dirección, sistemas de poleas. Uh, and then once they're once they're dropped into the the mortise, the, they're strapped together and then drilled through the series of galvanized bolts. And then there's a cross member that ties the bottoms together. You can probably see it in the back drop there, these horizontal steps. Sort of at the same time as all these frames are going up, there's some interesting sh changes happening inside the boat as well. The Kielsen Rider is the upper I-beam that um, is bolts through the Kielsen to the lower I-beams, uh, which are later filled with lead for ballast. It's fully bared and primed and painted with several coats of epoxy paint. Yeah, and ready for install. Yeah, attention. The inside of the boat has been fared out to somewhere between waterline six and seven currently. So we've got the bilge riders down in the bottom, which run fore and aft the full length from stem to stern assembly. They're 12 inches wide by five and a half thick. Especially in the forward and aft sections, they're steamed into place. In amidships in the cargo holds, they were, they were shaped manually because there wasn't as much curve to contend with. So the, the steaming has been going really well. Um, none of us really knew what, how Guapino would perform in steam box, but it, uh, it bends beautifully. Come to the same sort of uh, rough estimates of about an hour per inch of thickness. Yeah. 
The steam generator that was built here some months ago works wonderfully. It's incredible. Getting the pieces in and out requires a lot of hands, and, but it's very quick. Eight meter long piece, we have it pulled out and clamped in place in about five or six minutes, yeah. usually, um, which is great. We have more time than that, I would say, with these thick timbers, but the faster the better. Well, they're on average, I would say the, the timbers are about six meters long. Uh, the ones we have been steaming, because there's two layers, are three inches thick uh, each and 12 inches wide. Um, not exactly sure how heavy they are, but it takes a lot of bodies to pick one up. So. Um, but luckily we have that. <laughs> We've had installed a, a uh, tensioned cable overhead with a winch on a pulley system, um, which is really effective for moving things in and out of here and has been essential in the raising of the half frames in the back. Basically, we installed a cable from point to point of the boat, from the neck to the front, and we installed a winch electric for lifting heavy weights. We're lucky to have got a team of really talented riggers that came onto the scene a while back and uh, they make everything look really easy and efficient. At that same time, frames have been going up in the stern. So it's kind of, uh, there's a lot of action going on in the boat these days, which is good. Lots of visual progress out there for all of you to see. Um, so the half frames, which are going up uh, as we speak, we're getting them up about every second day now. Um, it's, they're, I mean, actually placing them is getting quicker and quicker. They're you know, usually half an hour they're in. Um, the series of block and tackle, two portable winches, and just a lot of hands pulling on, pulling on ropes and a lot of organization ahead of time. Um, it's been, yeah, knock on wood, we've been very lucky. We've, it's, it's been smooth as anything.
entrada en lo que viene, lo que es masiva para nosotros es la montada de los mástiles y también y pues el trabajo de altura que vamos a estar eh, a una altura superior a los 30 metros, entonces ya es algo para nosotros normal, pero a la vez es emocionante porque ya es, es nuestro trabajo, es lo que nos gusta, entonces y pues aquí estamos para darle.